Welcome back boys and girls. Today I want to talk about how you and I can eat like a king. No, I'm not talking about eating at the castle. I'm talking about heart and liver. Yes, in the past they reserved heart and liver only for the king for a very good reason. I know many hunters who love heart, but when it comes to liver, they just leave it for the coyotes. And coyotes love them for a very good reason. Well, about five, six years back, I was hunting at very late and it was right at the last light I shot a doe about 150 yards away and it was snowing and I was by myself and I really didn't want to go after it that night so I came back early next morning and I found her half buried into the snow and the coyotes ate part of her front shoulder and a little bit of her ribs but they completely ate the liver and heart and they didn't even touch the back track. So anyway, I didn't want to bring the whole deer home because I didn't want my family to see how it's been chewed up by coyotes and they might not want it. So I actually portioned it in the woods. So I brought the other side front quarter and the both hind quarter and both back straps. And my family didn't have any problem with it. But my point is that coyotes are con consistently seeking for that nutrition that they need. And the liver has loads of them. Anyway, most people don't like liver because of its distinct smell and taste, including my family. But as a medical doctor that I know, the liver contains highest nutrient and vitamins that you need. In fact, they sell a liver, 100% liver, in our capsules for a very good reason. Well, here are the reasons. I have my chichit with me. The liver is very rich in high quality protein. It is also rich in vitamin A, D, E, K and lots of vitamin B, mostly vitamin B12 and also it's got really best source of natural folate, iron, copper, zinc, chromium and CoQ10 and purines, essential fatty acids and DHA. In other words, liver is good for your brain, your eye, your nervous system, your muscle, your immune system, your heart and it helps to cope with uh, uh, stress and also panic attack. When it comes to heart, I don't have to try to convince you to eat the heart because most hunters love the heart. And for a very good reason, it's a very tasty meat. The heart is an organ that's made of special muscle, so it's a meat, except it's got higher uh, content in vitamin B12 and also iron. So when we cook the liver, we cook it with the heart. And there is some process to remove most of the liver smell and the taste and we dazzle it with the espresso barbecue sauce and it is loved by all my family members. And this is how we do it. Today I want to share how, how we like to eat our liver and heart. For most people, liver is love or hate. Either they hate liver or they love the liver. Now the liver has very strong odor and very strong taste as well. Now we're kind, kind of in the middle, we don't really appreciate the smell or the taste but the liver contains all the enzymes and vitamins and they're considered to be a very health boosting food. So uh, what we do first is that we cut the liver in half like so and you want to get all the blood out as much as possible so cut you know, cut out all the stuff that you you know you don't want. Cut them out. You, you know, you could be generous and just squeeze it and get all the blood out. And make sure you put some water into the little arteries or veins, and then you could squeeze all the blood out. Let me tell the one. Now, for the heart, you want to cut out all the fats and all the arteries as well. And you want to slice them kind of thin and you don't want medium rare on the heart, it's going to taste too bloody. Now you want to boil the liver on a very hot boiling water for 20 minutes. Now this is a medium sized dough so we're going to boil it for about 20 minutes. On a bigger mature deer you want to boil it for about 23 minutes. And then we're going to rest it for 10 minutes. Now one thing funny thing about the liver is that if you overcook it, it will smell stronger. When you boil the liver, you want to put in one onion and some bay leaves and some whole peppers and they will also help to get the smell out. Here is my sliced heart. I have removed all the fats, all the arteries and the fibrous tissue and I cleaned it very well. 
and I like to slice a little thin. We also like to add some sliced shintake dry mushroom. Now you could use any mushroom or you, or you don't have to put any mushroom if you don't like mushrooms. Okay, the fry pan has been heated with olive oil and now we're gonna put the hot. And like I said, we like to cook the hot very well. I know some people like to uh, pan fry it with the butter, but I wanna promote healthy eating. Olive oil is better. We're gonna add sliced garlic and we're gonna fry with it. And now we're gonna add dry mushroom. Okay. Now the hot is almost cooked and as you notice I didn't use any pepper or salt because we're gonna use my favorite sauce espresso barbecue sauce. It's been 20 minutes since we boiled the liver and now we're gonna drain the water out and let it sit for 10 minutes. Like I said, you don't want to overcook the liver, then it tends to smell stronger and taste more liver-like. So you could see a little bit of reddish there. So 20 minutes is good and we can just let it sit in the pot for another 10 minutes. Okay, after resting it for about 10 to 15 minutes, you want to slice it kind of thin. You don't want to slice it too uh, too thick and when you slice it you're gonna see some pink color inside which is perfect and even now there's not much of a liver smell and after we slice this up we're gonna put it with the hot and then we're gonna cook it with the, my favorite espresso barbecue sauce yes we're kind of hooked on this sauce but you could use any kind of steak sauce or any kind of uh, barbecue sauce that you like. Okay, here is our hot and some mushrooms and sliced garlic. Now we're gonna add the liver. And we're gonna crank up the heat a little bit. Okay, I added the sliced liver with a heart and now I'm going to add espresso barbecue sauce just like that. I mean at this point it's already good without the sauce, you could just do the pepper and salt but like I said we just like this sauce a lot. And it just makes it more pleasant to eat. At this point, you're not really trying to cook it more. You're just trying to put the heat with the sauce. So you will put the sauce as like a coating on top of the liver and the heart. Now there's a perfect heart and liver. And with a glass of wine. And this is going to be great. Bon appetit. One of my viewers asked me how we make our espresso barbecue sauce on my video about how to make perfect venison steak. So, this is how we do it. First step is getting a good strong coffee. Here is the ingredients for the espresso barbecue sauce. First we have one clove of minced garlic and we have one cup of strong good American coffee and we have one cup of ketchup and we're gonna use three quarter cup of uh, balsamic vinegar and we're gonna use three tablespoons of soy sauce three tablespoons of honey and two tablespoons of brown sugar okay we have preheated the pot with uh, olive oil and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the garlics And this smells really good. Be careful not to burn your garlics because that's gonna make it taste really uh, sour. So make sure you stir pretty well. Now once the garlic is cooked pretty good and you have a really good aroma, then you wanna add the rest of it. First we're gonna go with the coffee. And we're gonna add the ketchup. Now we increase the heat so you will boil. And here is a three quarter cup of, of balsamic vinegar. Here's the two tablespoon of brown sugar 
and the three tablespoons of soy sauce. And we're gonna actually do four tablespoons of honey. I know I said three tablespoons, but we decided to go with a four tablespoon. It's starting to boil now, so we're gonna lower the heat down to the medium and we're gonna let it boil down to about halfway. Make sure you stir it really well because you don't want to burn the sauce, especially at the bottom. Okay, we've been boiling it for about 30 minutes now and it's simmered down about halfway. And when you boil, you're gonna smell a very strong odor from. Uh, from the vinegar and that's normal but this is really really good sauce espresso barbecue sauce is also really great with a baby back spirit my family loves barbecue spirit so we've been to a lot of uh, barbecue joints and according to my kids nothing comes close to daddy's barbecue I know my wife's made all the sauces and everything but I get to grill them and today we're doing baby back spare ribs with espresso barbecue sauce and you want to get the ribs fully cooked first before you put on the uh, barbecue sauce coating on it because that's going to burn it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Baby back barbecue ribs. Trust me, once you get hooked on this sauce, you will never go back to any other barbecue sauce. One thing bad about eating so well at home is it takes the fun out of eating out. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have, enjoy your life with what you got, but mostly enjoy every part of your proud venison. See ya.